marketing plans don't work. We're going to talk about the three big reasons why marketing plans for mortgage pros typically don't work and specifically how to fix that. Let's be real. We all have great plans and intentions come January 1st, or in this case, December, you know, planning the new year, planning what we're going to do differently, planning how we're going to show up differently, showing up in our business at a higher level, getting more leads, getting more apps, getting more closings, bringing in more money. We have all these best of intentions and we have these desires for these champion level results. But until and unless those champion level results translate into a champion level execution plan and champion level daily routines and rituals, chances are it ain't going to happen. You know it and I know it. So where do we fall down? Where do we allow things to fall through the cracks? Why aren't we getting steam? Why aren't we getting traction? Why don't these best of intentions in most cases, nine times out of 10 actually materialize and manifest? That's a very good question. I'm glad you asked. That's precisely what we're going to be talking about today is why we're not getting the traction and the income that we want out of our business. What are the things that make our plans ineffective that castrate the effectiveness of our quote unquote marketing plans? Well, I'm going to cover three big reasons right here, right now. The first big reason why most marketing plans for mortgage professionals don't work is that they are too cerebral, too in your head. It's all this line by line information about you're going to do this, you're going to do that, you're going to take this action, you're going to take that action, you're going to get this number of leads from these sources and so on, but it's all in your head. There's nothing in your heart about it. There's nothing that captivates you, that inspires you, that gets you fired up about it. Sure, there might be an income target that sounds good to you, but do you really feel it? Do you really own it? Is it in your heart to the point where it becomes a magnificent obsession, where it's something you're grateful for, thankful for, excited about? Is it something that gets you fired up every day with pep in your step and sparkle in your eye and bouncing out of bed with an energy and momentum in your heart to actually manifest the dream? Is it something that gets you fired up or is it just something in your head that you feel like you should be doing? I should be making more calls to realtors. I should be making more calls to my clients. I should be doing more to work on my business as opposed to in my business. And it feels more like a have to than a get to because it's all in your head about the plan and the execution, but it's not in your heart in terms of the mission, in terms of the purpose. See, if you don't have a heart connection to your purpose, to your mission, to make a difference in people's lives, to transform people's lives in some meaningful way, if you don't have a heart connection to how it's going to transform your life and transform other people's lives that's meaningful to you, that gets you excited and fired up, that's one of the reasons why you're having a hard time executing on your plan, let alone having the outcomes that you want from your plan, like the income and the lifestyle and the impact that you want to make in the world. So one of the big reasons why these marketing plans don't work is because you're just talking about tactics and strategies. You're not talking about your why. You're getting all bogged down and clogged up with the how. You've lost sight of the most important piece, your why. Why are you doing this? Why are you getting up every morning to go out in the front lines of capitalism and slay giants? Why? Yes, it's providing for your family. Yes, it's putting food on the table. Yes, it's making an income. Yes, it's paying the bills. But rarely will you ever see an, an overachiever, an extraordinary achiever, a top achiever be compelled to do what they do just to pay the bills. Rarely will you see extraordinary come out of the ordinary, out of just paying the bills. It just doesn't happen because it doesn't have juice. It doesn't have fire. It doesn't have a meaningful, compelling mission that will allow you to overcome the obstacles and the hurdles and get out of your own way. That's the biggest hurdle, right? Is getting out of our own way, our own stinking thinking, our own excusitis of lack of limitation, scarcity, rationalizations, justifications that we tell ourselves that hold ourselves back from executing because we tend to should on ourselves, right? I should do this. I should do that. I should do this, should do that. But until and unless it becomes a must, we don't do it. We just don't take action. We don't take action consistently on our shoulds. We take action consistently on our musts. 
And for it to be a must, it's got to be a white hot fire of burning desire. I often tell people before I had four kids, success was optional. Now it's mandatory, right? Because now it's about me becoming the best daddy I can be for them and to provide for them and create a compelling legacy for them to show them what it looks like to create an abundant life and to lead by example in that because I can't give them that which I don't have. So I have a meaningful purpose and a meaningful mission and being a daddy and being a husband beyond just paying the bills. You want to have something too where you're making a difference in the world way beyond just your family. Yes, your family is important. Yes, your family is mission critical to support and provide for and protect and where you get the white hot fire of burning desire needs to be something even bigger than that. A God-given mission or purpose if you're a believer. Something that inspires you to greatness because your designer who made you for greatness has put it in your heart. And there's something far beyond yourself that you want to achieve in the world. An impact you want to make in the world. Notice that's about the heart. It's not about the head. And when you translate it from your head to your heart and you have it something being bigger than yourselves, a worthy ideal, a magnificent obsession that you can give your life to, where it's not just about, you know, what can I give my energy to? It's not just about what can I achieve and what am I worthy of? It's more importantly, what's worthy of me? What's worthy of my life energy? What's worthy of my passion? What's worthy of my gift? What's worthy of my God-given talents and strengths and unique abilities? Ask that question. What's worthy of me? And come up with something compelling and meaningful so that when you're showing up every day, it's not just about a paycheck. It's about touching hearts and changing lives. That's going to get you on fire. That's going to get you kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubblegum, crushing it. That's going to give you incredible achievement producing power. It's the nitro fuel in your rocket that's gonna give you the energy, the impetus, the motivation, and the stick to the too much grit to quitness to actually achieve your marketing goals you set in your marketing plan. You guys with me on that? So that is the first reason why most marketing plans don't work. They're too cerebral and they're not connected to a compelling purpose in your heart. The second big reason is that they're too complex. They're too convoluted. There's too many pieces and too many steps and you gotta do Facebook and you gotta do Twitter and you gotta do LinkedIn, you gotta do Instagram, and you gotta do consumer direct, you gotta do database marketing, you gotta do realtor marketing, you gotta do LinkedIn, you gotta do leads here and that and this and the other and all of a sudden it's like, holy crap, there's too much to do, you end up doing nothing. You get overwhelmed, it's like taking a sip of the fire hose and you end up doing nothing. And all these lofty ambitions and goals don't translate to a daily routine that actually gets executed and implemented on. And if you do have it in your daily routine, you don't follow through because you have it set up in your daily routine such that energetically you're not aligned to execute on it. Energetically, you're aligned to the urgent and important. Energetically, you're aligned to being distracted and derailed. So even when you do block schedule it, you don't implement it because the way you're block scheduling it is not aligned energetically with you following through consistently. And you're making yourself exceedingly vulnerable to the perennial distractions and interruptions of life. Have you noticed? So having complexity in your marketing plan is death rattle to execution. We get paid on done, not begun. And if you are complex in your approach with your marketing plan, chances are you ain't going to cut it with your marketing execution. Complexity kills execution. So that's where simplicity, elegant simplicity comes in, where it's so simple, a monkey could do it, right? Not saying you're a monkey, but you want it so simple that a monkey could do it. I like to keep it to three things. You want to have three components of your marketing. You want to have database marketing, realtor marketing, and consumer direct marketing. And you want to be able to simplify it into a routine that you're doing daily. And you want to be able to set it up so that you're winning on those things before you get to anything else in your day. A lot of you guys, you're making marketing 
and proactive prospecting and proactive lead generation, a luxury that you'll get around to if you got nothing else going on. How well is that working? As Dr. Phil would say, how's that working for you so far? Chances are not very good, right? Because you get sucked in the vortex of operations, putting out fires, and it never seems to be urgent enough to do it. What's urgent is putting out fires. What's urgent is taking a nap. What's urgent is replying to a client or a realtor. So you get sucked into the vortex of the urgent and the important. The problem with that is that just keeps you chasing your tail, working in your business instead of on your business. You never actually get into the growth zone of working on your business. And working on your business is where all the growth is, my friends. That's where all the power is. That's where all the freedom is. That's where all the prosperity is. That's the realm of greatness. And that will always be important, but not urgent. Working on your business, it's important, but it's also not urgent. You can do it later. You can do it tomorrow. You can do it tonight. You can do it some other time. It's always important, but not urgent. And there lies the rub, my friends, is that we get in our own way because we're perennially getting towed around by the proverbial nose by our smartphones or our dumb phones, dealing with the urgent and important and to the detriment of creating a real business that sets us free. So keep it simple. Come up with one, two, or three things you can do daily that will push the needle on profit and performance and do it first. Like Brian Tracy says, eat the frog first. Don't leave it for the end of the day. Win before noon. As I heard recently, there's a mortgage planner software out there that I just heard about called Win by Noon. I love the concept. I've been a proponent of that for years. Because if you don't win by noon, chances are you ain't going to win any other time of the day because you're burnt out, you're tired, you're frizzled, you're fried, you're distracted, you're interrupted, and you're focusing on the important and the, and the urgent and important for the rest of the day. So win by noon or earlier. I'm saying even win by 11, win by 1030, get it done first, an hour of power earlier in the morning, Okay. So keep it simple and keep it consistent. Simple and consistent wins the game. The third reason why most marketing plans for mortgage professionals don't work is because they're too caveman, as I like to say. I'm sure that's proper English. We're from Canada here, and we like to rock sophistication in the English language, so I'm confident that this is a perfect case in point. Caveman. It's too caveman. In other words, you don't have sophistication in place to automate. We do need some sophistication for automation and delegation so that you can get your business working for you while you're not working. A big problem with a lot of the marketing plans out there is your cold calling realtors. That's cavemen. Okay, calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday without a compelling reason to call. That's cavemen. Not having a CRM in place that has compelling kick-ass copy and compelling reasons for people to reach out to you and you're just relying on cookie cutter crap from your company CRM, that's caveman, okay? Not having a compelling reason for a top producer to wanna to work with you and send you all their business aside from great rates and great service, that's caveman. Not having delegation to a top talent marketing admin assistant, even if it's just for five bucks an hour, so that you can remove yourself as the bottleneck in the equation, uh, equation, that's caveman. You've got to be able to set up systems for automation and delegation. You've got to be able to get to the outcome, the easiest pathway possible. And a lot of these marketing plans are so freaking complex and they get you doing it the hard way, doing all this lame caveman dark ages marketing from literally you know, 20 years ago. It worked 20 years ago, it doesn't work anymore. People are, trying it. It ain't working anymore. They're wondering why the hell not? Because times have changed, friends. It ain't the dark ages anymore. It's the 21st freaking century. You got to keep up with the times. And if you're using caveman methods, that ain't going to work. Or maybe you're using sophisticated 21st century stuff, but it's too convoluted and complicated. Or you're all in your head about it and it's a have to instead of a get to. It's a should instead of a must. It's in your head instead of your heart. So you're not executing on it consistently because your heart's not in it. 
Your head's in it, but your heart's not in it. So you're not consistently doing it. So those are the three big reasons why marketing plans don't work. We're about to kick a new year off. We've got a few more weeks until 2020. I want you guys to have a 2020 vision that captivates you, that excites you, that scares you and excites you at the same time, that gets you fired up, that puts pep in your step and sparkle in your eye and gets you fired up to win like you never have before, that gets you up earlier, that gets you grinding with more passion than ever before, with more urgency than ever before. I want you having that white hot fire of burning desire in your heart every day on mission, on purpose, knowing you're making a difference in the world in a meaningful way. I want you to create a plan that's so simple a monkey can do it. Just three things, a three prong approach, blocking it in the calendar, working the plan, planning the work, working the plan, and being consistent with it day in and day out, focusing on the vital few as opposed to the trivial many, guarding your time so you guard against the perennial and incessant distractions and interruptions. I want you to win by 11 a.m., not just noon, by 11 a.m. I want you to make the main things the main things. I want you to remember you're in the marketing business first, the mortgage business second. You're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. Until and unless you connect those dots, you're going to be leaving a shit ton of money on the table, doing it the hard way, and you're going to be struggling to take your business to the next level because you are not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. And you're also in the success habit cultivation business. That's the business you're in, friends. The success habit cultivation business. As the late and great Jim Rohn said, you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. You work hard on yourself, you'll make a fortune. So that means peeling back in the layers of the onion of ways you stop yourself, you hold yourself back. And that's hard to do because when you're inside the bottle, it's hard to see the label. And that's precisely why we need coaching. That's why we need mentoring. That's why we need someone in our corner who points out the blind spots we can't see. And that's precisely what we do for our clients. Now, if you're listening to this right now, you're like, man, I'm feeling you, Dorn. This is definitely making sense. And you're also feeling a little bit of a foreboding feeling like I sure hope this is going to work because I've been trying to take my business to the next level for quite some time. And I've been in this rut of stagnation and I'm really starting to get frustrated. I'm starting to beat myself up. I'm starting to feel like who I am is someone who continually struggles. And that's not who I am, but I'm starting to attach my results with my identity and it's corroding my confidence. It's hurting me inside because I know I'm capable of so much more, I'm, I'm not achieving it. And if you know in your heart that you have so much more inside of you than what your bank account represents, what your bank account is displaying, you know in your heart that you're capable of doing so much more than your current production is displaying. And you know that you're absolutely defiantly committed to the core of your being, to making next year your best year yet, if you can just have the right plan, the right system, and the right support, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. Now, this is only for residential mortgage professionals who are on 100% commission, who want to increase their income by at least, listen up now, at least $100,000 in your annual income next year. If you just want an itty bitty little increase, this is not for you. It's like hitting a finishing nail with a sledgehammer, right? It's overkill. But if you're wanting to add at least $100,000 to your annual income and you want to be able to do it working smarter, not harder, you want to get straight to the outcome like a hot knife through freaking butter. You want to get to the out outcome, not caveman style, but you want to do it with elegance, simplicity and style in a way that allows you to dance in your strengths, do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest and really kick ass at a level like you never have before. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call with either myself or one of my consultants where we lift up the hood on your business and we really get you to the truth of where you're at now and where you want to be and what's holding you back from getting there. And if we can help you create that quantum leap breakthrough, by all means, we will show you how. We don't make offers to everyone we talk to. We usually make a prescription and an offer to maybe 80% of the people we talk to because not everyone's the right fit. I'll be straight up. Not everyone is truly committed to their breakthrough. Not everyone's truly committed to taking ground and taking to that next level. There's a lot of people that are willing to tolerate mediocrity and struggle and strife and stress in their life and their business. That's not our clients. 
But if you're in a place where you're like, man, I'm so ready to start kicking ass, man. I'm so done with spinning my wheels. I'm so done with stagnation or regression. I'm so done with stress and living in this glass ceiling prison of my own making. I'm ready to break through and break free. If that's you, book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. I'm going to type it up right on the screen here. Mortgage marketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Go ahead and book a call there with either myself or one of my consultants. I promise you it'll be one of the most clarity inducing calls you've ever had in your entire life. You'll get more clarity on where you're at, where you want to be and what's really holding you back and what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your life and your business than ever before. So that's my challenge to you. That's my promise to you. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. I trust you got value from our training today. Go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action in the form of gratitude, enthusiasm, and certainty. Chances are you will get massive results, my friends. This is Doran Aldana coming at you from MortgageMarketingCoach.com from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Go ahead and book a call again, MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Do it now. We'll talk to you soon. Make it a great day, y'all. Peace.